Just got a few more things to get set up here. Currently hooking up to the trailer. We're going to be running out of Oregon today. Uh, we're going to be doing a little run out from Oregon to uh, Idaho. Um, so that should be pretty fun. I'm currently hooking up right now. We've got a very interesting trailer today. You guys will see it in one moment when I'm all done. There we go. All hooked up. Let's check our... I'm going to check lights. Make sure everything's functioning on the truck. I still don't know where the fuel gauge is because I'm in the new Freightliner. I'm in the 2021 Freightliner. So... Apologies... If I don't know what fuel I'm at, I'm going to check right now, actually. We have a full tank, so... And we're driving, what? What are we doing about... About 800 miles today. Although, I am going to have to stop, so I'm going to start... Looking over the route right now and looking at possible rest stops. I have no idea what time is it in-game right now. We got our 78 miles to pick up. It's 4 o'clock. I don't have fatigue sim on, so I don't know what fatigue I'm going to be at. But we've got a few options on rest stops. I think we'll stop here if I can. So. I am going to start. Uh, I don't know if I can make 78 miles in the time that the timer will take to go down, so... I think we're all set, actually, so I can just turn the game today. Alright, so, 
this is the truck we'll be driving. It is obviously the new Freightliner, as we drove in the last episode. Um, wow, there's nothing on that interior. I need to mod this truck out, obviously. This truck has no interior mods. Um, but here is the exterior. As you can see, it's a triple, but it's a FedEx triple. We're running FedEx ground with a, or a, a Freightliner Cascadia. We'll be delivering, what was it, tableware ceramics, pretty much, out to, uh, way out there. Yeah, I really need to go take this truck to a service station and get it modified, so hopefully we'll have time for that. Wow, haven't even started, not even out of the lot. Normally I crash leaving the yacht lot, but I'm ahead of myself today had a schedule I am confused how the fuck they expect you to get out of these lots they are ridiculous hey dickwad wow I have literally never met a piece of shit like that who would do that I just got a discord notification hold on I'm not sure if that was my stream announcement or something else. It was something else. See, that person's smart. You stopped for the truck, but you also probably could have stopped a while back. But you get points for making an effort, at least. I'm still probably going to hit you. No? No? I'll be able to swing this road train around her. Nice. Gotta wait for these pieces of shit to pass. I'm literally having to look out my sleeper window to look for oncoming. I need to... I have not done anything to this truck, so I need to get the mirrors situated. The mirrors are off, especially on that side. They're not as far out as I'd like them to be. Let's switch over to automatic transmission. It's been a minute since I've driven a road train as well, so bear with me. Where are you going? Sweet, I have green. Merge over here to the right lane. I do like the dashboard display, but I also like being able to tell what fuel my truck needs, or what fuel, or when I need to stop for fuel. Okay, so we need to be in this lane. We're taking 405 north. And this truck sure is taking a minute to get up to speed, too. I can only imagine it, what it's going to be like when this thing gets fucking full. I'm gonna keep on Salem. Five south. This bus is doing 20 miles under the speed limit. Yeah, we want to be in the right lane, I think. Like, the, well, second from the left lane. Some cool shots of this thing going through and then go back before I crash because I know this area is a bitch and I have died here on numerous occasions right in that fucking junction right there I think it's actually in another junction where I crash all the time but I used to crash all the time I don't crash there anymore I know what the hell to do now this is one of the most confusing junctions I've ever been in oh don't be a dickwad speed up oh fuck you why are you matching my speed This thing, I'm pretty sure this thing's got blinkers all the way down the side. It does. I don't know if this is our exit. It is our exit. I need the blinker. We're getting on an overpass. 
I absolutely love driving on these. Now, I can't even see my hood mirrors. Yeah, this the interior on this truck I've got to fix. I'm going to make a route that brings us to a service station. We speeding. Turn that jig brake on, get us back down. Another triple right there. When's our next exit? It's actually coming up. It's this one, Salem North. Or Salem, that's not south. Maybe yeah, that's not our exit. I don't know. That, I'm definitely not taking south. What interstate am I getting on? It won't tell me about it. Yeah, no, this is not my exit. Okay, I was right. Thought that lane continued for some reason. In my mind, it did. Watch some trailers swing. That mirror is fine. My hood mirror, obviously my seat needs to be moved up. This is my exit, I believe. Let me double check again. No, it's not. I was wrong. Wow, that's a blind spot if I've ever fucking seen one. Holy shit. Yeah, wow, there is a significant blind spot on this truck. Right there. Where my mirror, for some reason, will not see them. Watch with this car. There's a split second. If this is anything like the last truck I drove that had one of these blind spots, it'll be a significant moment. I'm sorry, I'm coming into your lane, buddy. Um, where they will pass between the point where my mirror view ends and I cannot see out of my window. Got into the wrong lane. Oh, I don't want to miss this light. Fuck yeah. Made the light. Get over here in the right lane. I'm gonna take up both lanes though. And part of the intersection. Brakes. I can get closer. I don't know. He could slam on the brakes at any moment to make this turn. I know the AI is driving this game, and I don't like it. Like it. I'm gonna check my map runner. So we're pulling into FedEx here. I'm wondering where the nearest service station is. Oh, it's actually a long ways out. It's actually technically right there. This is a nice rest stop. I like these little rest stops that are off the highway. And there's a l everything's there. Makes it feel realistic. Triples are all in line.
I have train horn on this thing. Alright, so it's gonna be... No, it's... Yeah, it's gonna be cargo market, tableware... Yeah, uh... That's actually an easier said than done drop. You may think I'm crazy, but that's actually a bitch to line up to. The problem with these is that the trailer takes forever to align. This one might go. This one, oh, yeah, this is good. We're good here. Okay, cool. Some of the drops, it doesn't like aligning the trailer properly. One trailer in the very back will be out of alignment. See how that one's slightly over on the back? This one will accept it. Great. Right, looks like it's going to be night by the time we're loaded up, and it's going to rain. I have to make sure my fatigue sims. And it is on. And what am I... I need to rest like now. I'm not going to do that right now. So I'm going to turn fatigue sim back off. When I stop at my rest stop, I'll turn it back on. All right, so now it's time for my favorite part of doing a run, which is the route. So we got to pick a route. So obviously we've got some way stations... The way station we're gonna to probably stop at through whatever this town is. It looks like it's Dales, or but I want to call it Dallas, so I am gonna call it Dallas. Dallas. We could stop here for rest stop, but there's no. I would rather stop somewhere where there's one of these. Yeah, I guess we can stop there. We'll stop there. All right. So, and then we'll have to head through here, stop in Pendleton at the Walmart to get a truck revamp thing done, maybe, I don't know. I think that's good. We're solid. We're going to cut this loop out. We're not going to take this loop. We'll just turn around in the gas station and get back on uh, 84. Pretty much we're just going to be taking 84, which is the original highway we turned on to off of 5. No, we actually didn't get on 5. We took 405 to 5 to 84 up to here. I'm surprised it didn't take us on this stretch of 405. Maybe it did. I don't know. I think, yeah, it definitely did. Because if we went this way, I would have had these entrance lanes unlocked. Instead of only out these ones from when I was heading five south. There's a lot of roads I don't have unlocked. Most of these ones I do on my other maps. I've, I've done most of this section. But I think it is in Portland. It's in Portland or it's in Seattle where I always crash my fucking truck. Where I used to always crash my truck. Alright, before we head out, I'm going to readjust my seat and mirrors. There we go. No, that's not what I want. The four. There we go. Vehicle adjustments. I want to adjust my seat. I just want to raise it up a little higher. And then lower my wheel. So I can see my damn shit. And then adjust my mirrors. That mirror is fine. It's... The hood mirror, I don't know. I can't even see it. So we'll just crank it all the way to the left like I normally do on my mirrors. Hood right will do the same. Crank it to the right this time, though, to cover that blind spot. Four. Uh, four is my side mirror. That one, I just like having pushed all the way out, so I can just see, barely see that step there. Top. And then five. Five needs to be pushed way out and way down. Seven. I pressed the wrong key, didn't I? Readjust that mirror. I only want to see a sliver of my truck. Seven. I need to do the same. I can hardly see what the fuck I'm doing. Six. I need to do the same with this one to cover my blind spots. 
I don't want that mirror cranked down to see small cars. I love using the key, because I feel like using the little keypad, the num keys, not the num keys, but the arrow keys, is so realistic, because it's what a fucking uh, thing looks like. I mean, you can see it right there. All right. So, it's 7.39 on Tuesday. When do they want this? They want this Wednesday, 2.44 p.m. So, how long until our first rest stop? An hour. So, we'll get a good night's rest. But... Let's start with our truck setup. So we don't have anything on the interior. We don't have my phone up there. We don't have the mount yet. We gotta stop at Walmart and buy it. So let's go ahead and look at the ignition. Why is the ignition on the left? That's so weird. That's cool how it turns. All right, so we want headlights on. Check out our chicken lights to make sure they're all good. We want wipers. On the second level. Nice and cozy. Crank the heat up. I can probably check what the temperature is outside. It's 105 degrees Fahrenheit. That's my, and that's my engine temp. Okay, what the fuck. It's 75 degrees. Okay, so we're all set. Let's go ahead. I can now see my hood mirrors. To make sure my mirrors are good. That mirror is impossible to see right now because of the sun. It's in gear, I believe. Yep, we're in gear. Now, once a, it wants us taken the other way out of here. Put on my this map. There we go. I like that map. Very long road train. Truck at speed. That stops on ahead. Junkyard? No, that's a, no, that's a parking lot for the airport. That's a horrible spot for a traffic light. There's one in Martinsburg, West Virginia. It's like exactly like that. It used to be right by where we lived. It was right in front of the fucking Walmart, or the Lowe's, and the McDonald's, and it was a fucking, it would always back up with so much fucking traffic, and it was a major road, too. And I was like, oh, if a train fucking came, what lane do we want? We want neither of those exits, I don't think. No, we want 205 South. Check my mirror that I can hardly see out of because of the rain. Yeah, I think that's a little ridiculous. Why are you fucking on the brakes? Who the fuck? Why did he do that? No, this is our exit. I'm sorry, we want this exit. We don't want to merge lanes. We want east. It's our road, 84. 
Interstate 84 East. These two lanes are both exits, so... Cruise 55. I was looking for the cruise. I can't. I don't know anything about this interior. I get used to it. Now we're going 60. But it's raining, so I'm actually going to keep it 55 because I don't trust this triple. We're also going to merge. Chill out in the right lane. I do love that GPS. I like that location. I like how wide the GPS is on this one or on this truck. I think it looks nice. I think it matches. I love the buttons. I've already talked about this interior in the previous last time I played Trucks in, but I do absolutely adore this interior. Get them on. Get off the rumble strip. Trucks use right lane. Oh, we got a we got a tunnel. No, I can bypass. I wonder if this one has a bypass lane I have to go through though. It did, but I didn't go in it. I've done that before, I've noticed some of them don't have bypass lanes. That was a while ago. I know they did a revamp of most of the trucks, uh, truck stops and the uh, way stations, especially in California. They did that revamp in California. That might have been what fixed it. Oh, we're gonna have to hit. It. We're gonna pass there another one. So we'll take the. If we bypass, we'll bypass again. Do the bypass line. It's very shitty weather. Huh. I'd like them to come out with a weather system. Like, an app you could check the weather on. To see when the, when the rain will end. And I know a lot of times during really shitty conditions, a lot of the trucks, they won't run trucks. Truckers will pull over onto the shoulder like I almost did. That's cool, the little billboard says press R to open up the music player. Here's where it wants us to merge back onto the highway because it wants us to take that big ass loop that I'm not going to do. I mean, pull over, I've also got to check my music, my shitty NCS music, and make sure it's going to loop and not play ads. I don't want to go with it 60, because 
I don't think that truck's even doing 55 ahead of me. I don't want to run up on his ass. And I still ran up on his ass because he doesn't know how to put his foot down on a hill. I have cruise control on. Oh, that little, uh, a little Caesar's truck is passing us. I've actually never seen that. That's cool as fuck. That's actually cool as shit. Oh my god, we're both taking this exit. Of course we both are. We have Phoenix, we have that place. We'll stop at the Globe Oil, or our Gallon Oil. Oh, I'm out of traffic light, give me a second, loop. There we go, we're back. There is literally no cross traffic. Why is this light red? Just got fuel. Gonna turn fatigue sim back on. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me this is a back in only truck stop. Well, I'm pulling it in like this. I have a triple. It's not going to back up straight. It's also not even going to fit. Well, we're parked up like this today because... Lay on my bed with no nothing on it, and go to sleep. Nice, it's 8:25. It, I just woke up. It is still pouring down rain. I am still parked like a jackass. We're gonna get out of here before I get yelled at by another truck driver.
I wasn't going to make that light. Got an air light for my air brake, I guess it's refilling. Cut this turn a little sharp to try to get in the right lane. Look, there's a, there's a real train. It's a train. I love trains. Trains are cool. Trucks are cool too. Look at that. Short little freight train right there. Got some some mix. Like some containers, a coal car, and possibly a grain car. I think is what that is. Or that might just be. That might just be a uh, one of their. Freight cargo doors, uh, carts, whatever the fuck they got. The ones that open from the side. Alright, real fast. I wanted to check before we left, but I wanted to leave. We'll be there in 5 hours and 12 minutes. That's my trip time, 5 hours, 12 minutes. When do they expect this? in seven hours that'll be really cutting it close especially with this rain i've got to go slower we'll push her to 60 to try to make up lost time Now what's my estimated time? Wow, well, I shaved off like 19 minutes. Now I've lessened that blind spot a lot by adjusting that smaller mirror to look down and out a little. What's this bridge? Willow Lake. It's a pretty lake. Eastern Oregon is really beautiful. A lot of flat plains. Looks like we got some farmland over here. What are they growing? I can't even tell I'm going so fast and the graphics so shitty. That was tall, so I think it had to be like corn or it was either a really tall grain.
I still don't know how to enter photo mode, or how to take some pictures of this truck, but I totally forgot how to enter photo mode. I'm gonna look it up. I'm not gonna do it right now while I'm driving. How long to my checkpoint? 16 minutes. We're entering Pendleton now. Mm. I'm gonna cut that out of the trip. I'm worried about making it on time. Because they want this at what, 2 o'clock? Between about 2.45 to quarter after 4, they want this. So, we've got 4 hours left on the trip, so that means we'll be arriving at about 2 o'clock. I also do not have my hands on my controller right now. That is amazing. I can just let it go. I'm sure arriving in a straight fucking line. It is veering slightly to the right a little. I don't want to run into the rumble strip. Now I'm almost in their lane. Now we're good. So we gotta bend... Why are they driving a convertible Mustang in the rain? Oh, this is going to be a little too fast for this corner. Damn. That was really quick around that corner. Got a truck lane here. Because we're climbing a mountain, I think. Oh, shit. Turn. Holy crap. I had to. This is, that's one of the problems with running the controller, is that I had turned the wheel all the way over, and it still had not turned. And my laptop also just closed out, and I want that open. It does not do well on bends like this. Give me manual. I'm gonna need manual. That's what I want right there. Why the fuck are you using your fucking brakes?
There we are. It took me so long to gain back that speed, and that jackass and a Ford fucking expedition decided to slam on his brakes. Or was that? It might have been a Lincoln Navigator. The weather is getting worse. Yeah, I'm not driving the truck through the thunderstorm. Now look how slow Swift Truck's going. Look how slow all the traffic is moving. There's no point in even being on the road right now. We're just going to park up here on the side. And then I'm gonna look up how to fucking go into a foot mode. How's the game with yes oh photo studio. That might make sense. <laughs> I thought there was a hotkey to it though. Could have sworn there was a hotkey. Alright, well, We'll be, uh, waiting here, I guess. I want to go to the bathroom. All right, I'm back. Mm. 
Nice. Perfect timing. The weather is clearing. Let me switch back over to gameplay. Alright, so the weather is cleared up. A little. We're not in fog and thunderstorms anymore. That's nice of you. A little honk. Say thanks. So we just went ahead and waited out the weather. No, I did not fuck with the weather while I was on the beer pack screen. I actually just came back, looked in, and saw that it had cleared up. So now I'm going to take a photo in Photo Manager. Oh, we're getting crazy Discord notifications. That's a nice picture. What did I get? Welcome chat. And is it welcome chat? Now I can push this truck. I'm comfortable pushing the truck up to 65 now. Waiting out the weather actually worked out great. If this person joined my server, opened up an interview ticket. No, he left. Okay. Really, I should go do down to stir palm streaming. We got a way station, one mile. That's a little interesting. What law would apply more? That is a question for Hick. That is a question for Hick, if I've ever seen a question for Hick. So, for those of you who don't know, that cop had someone pulled over back there. So, my question would be, is during a way station section... In a way station section of road... You are legally required as a truck driver to stay in the right lane. But there is also a law in the U.S. that requires you... Another train! That one's got a lot of cargo containers on it, though. And a tanker. But anyways, there is a law that requires you to move over in the event of a traffic stop or accident on the right shoulder of the road. If there's a traffic stop right where that sign is, I have to get into the left lane. It's a law. It's a move-over law. So I'm wondering what law would apply more, because you're technically supposed to be in the right lane during a way station area. But, there's a move-over law. I'm wondering which one would apply more.
That's a question for Hick. Whatever. No, no. I would assume that a move over the law probably wouldn't. I don't know. What's my estimated time of arrival? 2.30 right now. So I am with, I'm ahead of schedule right now. And I stopped and waited out the rain. But stopping and waiting in the rain also allows me to proceed a lot faster. What do we got here? Uh, what lane is it in? And it does it. Okay, I'm in the right lane. I'm good. It's construction in the left lane. Limited to a 55 zone. That's a cool little construction rig. Alright, let's push back to 65. That was a really cool construction rig. That's a nice truck stop down there. Look at that shit. Oh, look at that. We got Highway Patrol doing a little... Radar there. And I got 80 miles left. I'd say it's probably less than that now. Oh, I picked up at that depot before. That is a really cool slot. That is a really cool plant. I picked up, I think it was gas there. It was when I did the Wyoming episode, I think. When I drove way out into Wyoming. You can use, my truck can use the Jake Brake. It doesn't have to make that loud ass noise. The music is on perfectly now. Now it's like super western cowboy, cowboyish, and now we're in this country. Oh shit. How long we got? We got 37 miles left on the trip. I like runs like this. I like runs where you're pretty much on one highway the entire time. This is a decent size, about an hour long job we've had here. Streams been up for 57 minutes, so it's been about an hour long job here. And I like it because we're just on one highway the entire time. It's no switching between a trillion different highways. We did that in the beginning, which I hate because you have to slow down for exits and then merge and it's just, it's fun to just get on a highway and just go. Liver and cargo inland. With FedEx ground.
windows rolled down for a bit. You know, for the last little leg of the journey, listen to the sound of the truck extremely loudly. Well, it's loud for me. It's not really loud for you guys. I have it set up so my voice is louder than the truck. At least it should be. I don't know. I think we can try that one. Now that I'm seeing it, there's shit in the way. Looks like the trailer's all in alignment. sit down on my sleeper bed and all right so job completed we did excellent tableware delivered from portland to ontario driven distance was 370 miles took us 20 hours and one minute consumed 87.3 gallons and we gained forty seven thousand dollars on that based off of urgent delivery fragile cargo long distance and proficiency as well as the base reward so that was pretty good once again, to see the truck was a Freightliner Cascadia with a FedEx ground triple. And, you know, I've got a... Oh, maybe I should have the engine running. You know, I've got to lower the truck for shits and giggles. And then lift it. I personally think these trucks look better lifted. I think the older style trucks looks really good. Lowered. But thank you, thanks everyone for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.